Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 221, list displayed as calendar. Normally, when you create a list in Power Pages, you see a table with columns based on the view that you've defined. But there are other ways to display your data. In this tip, I'll look at how you can display your data using a calendar interface. Enabling the calendar functionality is done via the portal management app. Open your list and go to the calendar view tab. First, check the enabled checkbox. Then you need to tell Power Pages which fields from your table to use to create the calendar. This includes the start and end time for each event. And then there are fields for the summary, description, organizer, and location. There's also a field if you want to be able to mark events as all day. The settings area lets you control which view to default to, year, month, week, or day. You can also pick which date the calendar goes to by default. If you leave it blank, it will default to the current date. You can also control which time zone is used to display the events, either the user's local time zone, or you can pick a specific time zone. Finally, you can pick if the calendar displays either as a full width calendar or with a list on the side. With those settings in place, when you view the list, you'll see a calendar instead of the table. In the next tip, we'll look more closely at the two styles of calendars. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 221 on lists displayed as calendar useful.